Dr. Marwan Sabah. I am the Director of Translational Research at the Cleveland Clinic Lou Rubo Center for Brain Health. The problem with diagnosing Alzheimer's disease in Down syndrome is a few. Number one is they all have different baseline IQs, baseline education levels, baseline cognitive skills. Uh, so some are very high functioning, could score well into their 40s and 50s on baseline IQ, and some are low functioning and scoring in the teens and 20s on their baseline IQ testing. So there's a broad heterogeneity on baseline uh, IQ. Second is some uh, Down syndrome people are highly acculturated, highly educated, highly integrated. I've had patients with Down syndrome who uh, finished high school, uh, finished college, limited, uh, can take a bus, can go to work, can make money, uh, live in group homes, uh, have some modicum of independence. Uh, so well, the first issue, of course, is that there's a broad spectrum of their baseline abilities. Second is most patients with Down syndrome uh, cannot do structured testing. It's not like you can just do a MMSC or MOCA or MINICOG uh, or an ADAS or a CDR and say that that has some base validity because bedside cognitive testing has not, that we traditionally use in Alzheimer's studies, doesn't hold up in assessing Down syndrome. There's actually been a couple of batteries that have been developed for Down syndrome uh, and so those are uh, being uh, used in validation studies. The third thing is the presentation of Alzheimer's disease in Down syndrome tends to be a different kind of presentation. Uh, a lot of behavioral symptoms at the beginning. Uh, patients, they don't present as an amnestic initially. They have some amnestic components you have to detect historically. So you've got to keep asking the caregiver, are they forgetting this, forgetting that? But the majority of the presentation is in behavior, more oppositional. These are very agreeable people. They become oppositional, and then they get to start losing their uh, ability to do things. And so the presentation is different. So those are three reasons why uh, there is difficulty in diagnosing. We are looking at biomarkers. The field is looking for biomarkers related to Down syndrome. The question is, is it CSF testing, amyloid, PET, tau PET? Uh, I will say to you that uh, some of the best data right now is in amyloid PET, and now there's new data around tau PET. So we are looking at it, but of course, as we already know, uh, these are not routinely used in clinical practice and not reimbursed by insurance. So we have to consider whether we could easily do uh, lumbar puncture CSF testing, the Down syndrome people tend to be a little bit short in stature and uh, have uh, not easily uh, accessible uh, L3 interspace for lumbar puncture. So that is not a, mechanistically is not that easy to achieve. So uh, the use of biomarkers has not become routine in assessing people with Down syndrome.